So I can start, right? Y yes, Sean, please go ahead. Okay, I see. Hold, hold on a second. I need to share my screen. Okay. So everybody can see my screen, right? Yes. All right, great. So I need to maybe stop the line. Okay. Hello. So my name is Chang Sun Sean. Actually, so I am an assist, assistant professor in Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. So I'm happy to present actually the I'm happy to introduce like, our department, actually some kind of curriculum and also general information to you. So I'm gonna start that one, okay? So, so as you can see, actually in this picture, the beautiful actually scenery, scenery in the Sultan city. So it, actually this actually the picture shows everything about civil and environmental engineering. So you can see beautiful actually building, Right, and also you can see some bridges, and also some roadway, and also river, and also the yeah, beautiful, yeah, the clean actually air, something like that. So actually, the civil engineering, uh, civil and environmental engineering, actually the uh, work experiences, or everything related to in, in the, actually this actually the pictures one. Okay, so. And then actually, what is civil, civil and engi environmental engineer do? So civil and environmental engineer design, build, and maintain the infrastructure, which is the foundation of modern society. That means we cannot live without the building and house, right? And also we cannot actually the, uh, go to somewhere else without some roadway, bridges, and railway, and something like that. That is related to the transportation and infrastructure. Also, we cannot live with, uh, without any water and any energy source. One that is also related to civil and environmental engineering. Also, right now, key issue is sustainable. So we need to longer lasting infrastructure. Also, environment friendly infrastructure we need it. So all about actually related to the civil and environmental actually and uh, engineering. So our department handling uh, such a things. Okay, so. Then in the, based on the, this actually the work, our depart, department provide bachelors of science or bachelors engineer, engineering in civil and environmental engineering program, okay? And also our department, the further when for the graduate study, we provide a master of science in civil and environmental engineering, PhD, a PhD in civil engineering. And another one is a master of engineering uh, management. We're gonna uh, our department offer. So later on, Professor Sajim gonna talk about the graduate program. So today I'm gonna talk about some bachelors of science or bachelors of engineering in civil and environmental engineering. Okay. So uh, in our department, offered six dis uh, different discipline, uh, uh, disciplines. Okay, which are Water resource engineering, uh, structural engineering, transportation engineering, geotechnical, geotechnical engineering, construction engineering and management, and in environmental engineering. So look at the here in the first of all, the water resource, resource engineering. So in Kazakhstan, I, I know that after winter season is over, because of a lot of us know some areas in Kazakhstan suffer some flood, okay, that kind of a risky one. So in water resource engineering in civil engine, uh, as, as part of the civil engineering program, they are actually control some risk, uh, every risk related to the water. They also, they also do the, some water, uh, water reserve work that is also related to the civil, civil and environmental engineering. Okay, also, and then structural engineering. So uh, whatever actually the civil engineer is building, uh, construct some buildings, roadways or something like that, we need to check the, in, in the, whether this is a safe or not. Okay, it is, it, whether it is actually stand up for, for a long time, something like that. So that is related to some structural engineering. So civil engineering and civil and environmental engineering department offer some one of the one of the stream is the structural engineering. 
How about the transportation engineering? Transportation engineering, the handling some roadway construction and also roadway design, also control the traffic and, and, and et cetera, for example. Now I am living in Rusul Sultan city. If I go to downtown area during the rush hour time, there are a lot of a traffic jam is of course one, right? So then the key issue is how can we actually uh, make uh, the, the traffic flow smoothly that is actually related to transportation engineering. So our department also teaching that part, uh, that transportation engineering program. And how about the geotechnical engineering? So everything related to the underground actually work that is related to some geotechnical engineering. So without proper geotechnical engineering work, building cannot stand for a long time. Also without a uh, proper geotechnical engineering part, we cannot actually construct a pretty strong and durable roadways. And also underground structure with a parking lot, whatever is a subway, you know, something like that, that were all, all work related to geotechnical engineering. And how about the construction engineering and management? Whatever we are all above the your work is related to the construction engineering, is construction engineering and management typically treated as some sequence cost estimation. And, 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 and etc. You know, but at, at this time also, the building um, uh, BIM, building information system, I mean management system that is popular. That is also related to the uh, construction engineering and management. And the finally, environmental engineering. So also in Kazakhstan, there are some area is difficulty to provide good quality of water. So water uh, wastewater treatment. Control the actually that one is related to the actually the environment engineering. How about the water uh, air quality? So and then also air quality also related to environment engineering. So our department provide actually this actually program such as the environment all of, all about related to the environment engineering. And then based on the this diff, six different uh, uh, stream, our department provide well developed program from the year one to year four. So then if you successfully finish the, all this actually coursework, then you can be one of uh, actually the uh, expertise in the 60 different areas. So at least actually if you finish successfully, you may actually the, uh, uh, can be, you, you, you may be the expert in at least the two uh, different actually discipline area, okay? So, okay, here is, if you look at the more deep, deeply, this is a curriculum. So this is year one curriculum. If you look at the here, most likely year one program consists of basic knowledge about engineering. So without a basic knowledge about engineering, you cannot actually uh, conduct a proper, uh, uh, or you cannot learn more in-depth actually civil engineering related to the subject. So that is the reason why we act in the year one state, you can learn about the math, mathematics, and also some physics, and also the, some programming, and, and, and also some the Kazakhstan language, and also the history. Because we cannot actually live without a country, one, right? So that's why basically whatever we, everything related to the one, we also consider about the country we are living on. So that is, the, so in the year one study, I, typically, we are learn about all basic engineering actually the uh, course courses one. Okay, so because this, think about it, our department name is civil and environmental engineering. Engineering is related to the mathematics, also physics, and also programs, and also something like that. Also, you can see here is a rhetoric and composition. So whenever you provide proper your idea to somebody else you needed to actually the, deliver your idea with some good presentation or document. That is the reason why you are learning about some rhetoric and also composition part in, in year one program. How about the year, when you become year two student, still okay, you are stick on some basic engineering, actually the uh, uh, knowledge one. However, you, are, you, you, you start to step on real civil engineering program such as the structural mechanics and the civil engineering CAD and surveying, and also some environmental chemistry, which is related to one of our six uh, different uh, streams. 
and also structural analogy, something like that. So you tested it you are alone in when you become an year two student. And then in year three student, most likely focusing on our six different actually streams. You can learn from the manager actually economics and also the structural design, which is related to structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, you are learn, also fluid mechanics related to the the, the water resource, actually the uh, engineering or civil engineering material related structure one. Also, you can see the structural design still, structural design in concrete and geotechnical design. So most likely uh, uh, more actually in-depth study in civil and civil and environment or, 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 uh, ori uh, oriented coursework. Then, uh, and, and also you, you also, you can look at the, you know, another one is elective course. This is a more in-depth actually study. For example, if you are taking the, uh, if you uh, successfully finish the structural design in steel and concrete, you can also uh, choose the one more actually the in-depth actually study, which is related to structural engineering. That is an elective course, okay? Then when you become your post student, Okay, you can also learn about some transportation engineering and also construction technology and management part. Then also our department offered more elective course, which means you can be more expert in, 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 in a specific area. Okay, so then, and there is in total in the six actually elective courses you can, you can choose uh, for total actually civil engineering, uh, civil and environment engineering actually period. Okay, so, and what kind of a course we're gonna offering? So you can see also in our department offered uh, nicely six based on the six different disciplines. For example, in structural engineering, if you are more interested in structural engineering, you can choose the behavior and design of a structural system. Also pre-stress concrete design, advanced structural mechanics. So such, such a, uh, things you can learn, uh, you can choose it. And if you are interested in water resource engineering, you can choose the water system uh, structure and the water supply and also distribution as a management. This is the elective course. Okay. Also, our actually uh, current smart and brilliant faculty member also developing more elective course for our student. Okay. And also, if you are also interested in some kind of a research area, also our department will offer some research ori oriented study, which is called individual research project one and two as an elective course. All right. So how can you how can you determine uh, how can you find this kind of information? What is actually cost objective and outcome something like that? Then if you go to the Office of Register website. Then, and then you can see there's a public cost catalog, and then you can click that uh, this one. Then you can type the cost, then you can find the more uh, detailed information. Okay, then, then, and then you, you can, uh, and then you can uh, learn about some of uh, our curriculum so on. And also here, but whenever you, we offer the all, all this course, also one, one, one of the things you have to think about some prerequisite, which means the Without getting proper knowledge, you, you cannot take some advanced course. That is a weaker actually. So in order to take some advanced course, you have to completely finish the some course one. That is called is a prerequisite one. Okay. So then in, in this one, and this chart show there are some prerequisite, for example, in order to take mass two, calcul uh, calculus two, you have to get at least a C or above grade in mass one. Okay, and you can see that. So that is a show that uh, this actually slide uh, a slide show that what is the prerequisite cost. Okay, so then, so for example, if you are actually the, some uh, year one, year two student, you have to pay attention to each actually the uh, a prerequisite cost. So then, and then you are, you have, you're gonna more focusing on uh, you are studying, spending more time, okay, to actually successfully finish the, the, your cost. That is a pre prerequisite. A chart. I think I, I believe that only our civil and environment engineering department we are offering this chart to our students. All right. So this slide shows our smart and intelligent faculty member list. So as I, as, as I mentioned, that our department offered six different streams. 
So each streams we have a faculty member. So professor, for example, Professor Ujin Lee and also the, uh, the uh, Professor Elizabeth and the multi, all of us is related to some environment engineering. And also Professor Jong Kim, he is our department head. Actually, he is also related to some geotechnical engineering. Professor Moon and Alfredo also they are actually related to some geotechnical engineering. So each six different uh, principal uh, no, disciplines we have the actually the all faculty members here. Okay. So then as a total, we have a total, the 15 actually faculty member, okay, is, and then is, uh, which is consists of three full professor and the four associate professor and seven assistant professor and one, one instructor. At this time, we, uh, our department has it. So also, uh, as I mentioned that we have a uh, 60 different uh, uh, disciplines, right? So then each discipline also has related to some research area for example, if you, if you look at the uh, smart urban infrastructure uh, uh, energy area, that area is also related to some structural engineering. So in the Professor Sajim is here, he is an expert in some sustainable energy part. Also, he is also expert in some structural engineering part. So that is actually related to some research work. So our department offers 60 different, uh, different stream that stream also related our some uh, research actually the uh, uh, research target one okay so so our actually the department curriculum also related to the current modern actually research actually topic okay and also uh, our department is actively working with all the uh, all uh, out of country actually university and or research institute. So this is slide to show that our international collaborator actually the uh, collaborator list of school. So you can see the, for example, Uni University of Illinois at Omana Champaign is a number one actually university in the United States in civil and environment program. Okay, so you can see that also there are some also in the UK based on UCL is there, also KAISTI is there, all of it. So many actually uh, university out of a country, out of Kazakhstan, uh, work with actually our faculty member. All right, so then I'm gonna actually talk about some our department is laboratory actually facilities. So as I, as I mentioned that, our department actually the curriculum also relates to research, right? So that means our research also should be conducted in our lab. Okay, so that means our student can learn hands-on experience in, 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 in our research. So our department has several actually laboratory, environment engineer lab, construction engineering lab, also the computer actually research lab is uh, Professor Sajim as typically conduct all, all, all energy related work in here, also geotechnical engineering lab, also hydraulic lab. So our departments also uniformly actually have the good, uh, uh, good actual laboratory facilities. Okay, this is one of the example of a, in, in, in example in our uh, laboratory facility is UCG show environment engineering lab, all the new actually the uh, new and also Fancy and also pretty accurate actually device actually uh, equipment we are uh, uh, we have it so you can also conduct uh, everything related to the uh, environment related research in, in in our department and this is a show that some construction actually materials lab we have and then in this one we also have some the non non destructive test uh, equipment to measuring or the property of a concrete one and also we can make the some specimen hour here, here in construction, actually the materials lab. And this is also geotechnical engineering lab. Also we have all that good equipment is here. So you can learn, okay, in, in the class, you can learn about theory, okay? Then in the lab, you can, based on the, your theory, you can make your sample and they also verify your theory in our lab. Okay, that's why our department offers hands-on experience actually laboratory program, which is related to all our coursework. Okay, so then, okay, you, if you go to the, uh, if, if the, the annual, uh, and our, our actually engineering, uh, School of Engineering Digital Science Laboratory, actually the 3D tour. So this is a website is here. If you go to the, this website, 
our department is located in block three. If you click, click the, this one and you can see some visual 3D actual lab tour. Okay, then if you are interested in, if you go over there and you can see the visual, you can see all kinds of equipment and also some uh, our lab facilities, okay? All right, then uh, now is I'm talking about some student activities. So our department has actually one officially actually uh, uh, accred accredited actually the student chapter, which, uh, which is uh, yeah, which is offered by the uh, American Concrete Institute. So if, if you look at this map, only our university, okay, our department has American Concrete Institute in CIS country. Okay, you can see that. So actually, we are actually proud of our actually faculty member, a proud of our actually the student who is involved in a ACI student chapter. Okay, so for example, also our student chapter actively working. For example, is the last year, our student actually awarded in actually a previous concrete competition travel uh, travel stipend, but unfortunately. Actually, we are nominated and we, 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 we are a winner, uh, we was a winner, but because of the pandemic situation, we couldn't go there. But anyway, our actually uh, Asia student chapter actually actively working on it. So also you can see we have the, the Instagram, so you can go over there and you can get some, or you can check all activities and information. Okay, oh, uh, after actually my presentation, and then maybe after Professor Sajim's presentation, I invite the one of the, the I invited the, the Asia a president in Asia student chapter. She may actually explain the uh, she may actually explain the more detail uh, detail uh, more detail in Asia student chapter. Also, she gonna provide some experience in NU. Okay, so now this is I'm gonna show you a short videos. Okay, for example, one of a one of the uh, Asia student chapter activity is popsicle stick bridge competition. So using the popsicle stick, students actually build the actually there's bridges and then we're gonna testing how actually this is, this bridge is, is strong, okay? So you can see then we are actually testing in, in our lab, you can see this and then how much is bridge is, uh, bridge is actually supporting load. Okay, we are the testing one. Or not as the another activities, also, Asia student chapter gonna do the high strength concrete competition. So then actually they actually the student chapter has made this and then they are testing. You can see it is in this, uh, these videos. Okay, sorry, okay. You can see that. Because of, because of this is this concrete high strength concrete issue with this kind of behavior. So in, in this concrete, I believe that student got actually 100 megapascal in this concrete one. So this kind this is one of the activities for Asia student chapters. Okay. Then also in our department has some special mold. Student also making this kind of the special actual concrete mold using the concrete. The student made actually the lion, also the uh, eagles and also cat, something like that, you know. So the student kind of making their own recipe and all mixed, mixed design. And then using the special mold, student gonna be making this kind of a beautiful some, the state, uh, statue of the actually the uh, statues, okay? So using the, some, the, their own uh, recipe, concrete recipe. Okay, so this is the information of the actually uh, student, uh, student chapter. So this is a list of the student chapter you can may actually contact if you are interested in Asia student chapter one, okay? So Aizan Sagu is the president, currently, currently she is a president, okay? Then, okay, after it's a successfully finishing our department program, okay, student can go to the, some further study for the graduate program. So, uh, but then uh, later on, Professor uh, uh, Sajim is going to explain that. But anyway, or, uh, also our students go to the study abroad for the graduate study.
Okay. And you can see in the uh, Columbia University Times, UCL, and also the actually the University of Nebraska, and also there is the, also uh, University of Tokyo, and they, they actually go to the many different country for graduate study. Also, some student actually interest in the working at the company. So our actually the student also working at some local company like a BI group, also okay, by this A group but also they are working at the international company okay is a symbol and also the uh, also the is also the uh, uh, yeah it also yeah also the many different actually the international company they are also working over there okay you can see that the list of the company but still i'm collecting more actually the data from the our former student okay so okay till here is my presentation so if you have any question you can ask me. Dear Professor, thank you very much for the presentation. Yes, questions? Nomara, can we keep the question and answer session oh, okay. at the end? Yes, 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 we can, we can do oh, it. Okay. So please keep your questions. You can ask it after the presentation about the graduate programs of our school, of our department. Thank you. Right, so, okay, I'm gonna stop the my sharing. Thank you very much, Sean. Hello, everyone. My name is Shazim. I will give you a brief overview of the graduate programs that are offered in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. I will try not to repeat the information which has been shared by Professor Sean. In the Department of Civil Engineering, we are offering three graduate programs. The first one is the Master of Science in Civil and Environmental Engineering, Master of Engineering Management, and PhD in Civil Engineering. Today, I will be focusing on the Master of Science in Civil and Environmental Engineering and PhD in civil engineering. Let me first start uh, with the master's program that we are offering in the field of civil and environmental engineering. This slide shows the general information and program com completion requirement. The duration of the program is two years and in order to successfully complete the program, you have to complete uh, required coursework. That is, you need to take 12 courses in two years duration, followed by the completion of the thesis, and make sure that you are achieving a minimum CGPA of 2.67 on a scale of four. In the master's program, we are offering a specialization in four key areas, which are reflected on the slide. The first one is the structural engineering and material, geotechnical engineering, environmental engineering, and construction management. This slide shows the program calendar for the first year in the master's program. In each semester, you have to take five courses. In the first semester, you have to take five mandatory courses, which are related to the area of specialization which I showed you in the previous slide. In the second semester, you would be asked to take three program core courses. Uh, and based on your research interest, you would be asked to select two electives. The list of the electives would be shown to you in the slides to follow. In the second year, one of the, the main uh, objective is to start your MSc research as per your uh, research interest, you have to contact the faculties which Professor Sean already showed to you according to your area of, of interest. Apart from that, you have to take two electives that, is, uh, that are represented by elective number three and four. And here is the list of electives that our department is currently offering. We have a balance of courses that is uh, we have tried our best to offer four to five electives in each key, key area of uh, civil engineering.
For example, in the area of structural engineering and material, we are offering four courses, while currently in the area of environmental engineering, we are offering four courses. Similarly, in geotechnical engineering, we are offering four courses, while in the area of construction management, we have uh, four courses. And we are also offering some course which we are categorizing it in uh, miscellaneous. That is, uh, if you are interested, for example, to evaluate uh, or study the energy performance of a building, then you can take a course which is being offered by mechanical engineering department and uh, uh, its name is building energy analysis. Uh, these are the laboratory facilities that we offer to our graduate students. The, the labs are equipped with sophisticated and up-to-date equipments. Every year, we keep on buying and updating our labs so that uh, it fulfills the need of our students. That is the research need. Now, if you would like to get more information about the master's program in civil engineering, then you may visit this uh, website, which is reflected here. Here you need to go in the master's program in civil engineering, and we have placed a handbook. All the details related to the master's program are available here. Now I will talk about the PhD program in civil engineering. Uh, this slide shows the progression and program completion requirement. Again, uh, the, the first criteria is that you must maintain a cumulative GPA of 2.67 on a scale of four. You have to complete 240 ECTS. I will later share the program requirements, how many courses you need to take. At the end of first year, the PhD students are required to appear in subject qualifying exam. And they must pass this exam so that they, they are able to progress in the PhD program. Uh, after the subject qualifying exam, the student would be asked to write a research proposal that he needs to defend at the end of third semester. Uh, apart from it, we, the graduate committee, is going to uh, uh, make a monitoring committee, research monitoring committee for every PhD student, and they are going to monitor the performance of the student on yearly basis. We call it as annual research review. Keep in mind that if you would like to successfully graduate, you must publish or your paper must be accepted unconditionally you should have one paper as a lead author. That is the first author in journals which are categorized as Q1 and Q2. According to uh, Scopus and according to, we have another database, uh, research database. Uh, finally, when you are writing your thesis, you have to make sure that the similarity index of your uh, thesis is less than 24, 20%. But now we have a new rule and it is in the process of approval, we have increased this similarity index to 24, but it is only for PhD program. For the master's program, it is still 20%. This is the list. Let me just uh, remove, okay. Now this is the program calendar for the uh, PhD program. In the first year, you have to take five courses in each semester. Based on your area of expertise, you have to select six electives, three in the first semester, three in the second semester. Uh, here you can see a comprehensive list of elective courses that are currently being offered by the Department of Civil Engineering. You can select any courses in consultation with your lead supervisor and as per your interest, research interest. As Professor Sean said that uh, very handsome faces, on the top left side, we have Professor Kim, who is the head of the department. And let me then, uh, let me take a box. These three professors are working in the area of geotechnical engineering. Professor Wujin, Elizabeth, and Mert, they are working in the area of environmental engineering. 
uh, me, Professor Sean, and Dee Chuan, we are working in the area of structural engineering and materials. We have some professors who are working in the um, management program, and we, we will have a separate presentation from them. Professor Farhat and Jai Sagin, they are working in the area of water resources. Finally, Professor Abed is working in the area of construction management. And we also have an instructor, Buck, whose area of interest is related to environmental engineering. Okay, <clears throat> if you want to find the details about the PhD program, please visit the following link where all the details related to the civil engineering programs are available. You can, here you can also find the list of faculty members if you would like to do research with them. <clears throat> uh, now I would like to focus uh, about, uh, talk about the research activities that are currently being carried out in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Excuse me. So uh, I will just be presenting few case studies related to the each area of interest. For example, in the area of structural engineering and material, <clears throat> one of the professor, Professor Dichon, he is working on developing lightweight engine uh, cementitious composite to strengthen or retrofit the masonry structure. And he is doing it by using industrial byproducts. Professor Sean, who presented the bachelor program, he is currently, he has a project in which he is focusing on the basic oxygen furnace in which he is converting the slag into a valuable construction material. And then he is going to apply it, that is use it for the application of roadways and as a construction material. In the category of geotechnical engineering, this is a project which uh, Professor Kim has, who is the head of the department. He has a project which is entitled Geohazard Risk Assessment, Mitigation and Prevent Preventation. <clears throat> Those who are living in Almaty, they might have experienced or uh, seen uh, landslidings. Uh, so what the team is doing, they are doing the modeling of it and then based on that, they are proposing the uh, prevention mirrors. Professor Moon is working on developing innovative ground improvement techniques by using low carbon rapid hardening cement. And he is doing it by, for the, the local soils which are available in Kazakhstan, how to improve them by using low carbon rapid hardening cement. Professor Moon has an other project where he is utilizing basic oxygen furnace, uh, for example, to utilize in the railway, to utilize as a railway basalt material, and that can also be used in the artificial fills. Okay, so prof uh, we currently have a professor working in the area of geotechnical engineering, Professor Alfredo. And he has a project in which he is focusing on advanced moisture sensing technology for urban greenery. And uh, in this project, the professor is also focusing on monitoring the slope stability. Uh, now I will focus on some of the projects in the area of environmental engineering. Professor Farad, he is currently focusing on evaluating the effects of pandemics on sustainable buildings and development of a sustainable assessment tool based on COVID experience. Professor Wujin, uh, he is currently focusing on stochastic risk assessment of Kazakhstan soil and water environment, which are contaminated by heavy metals. Professor Mert is working on mercury contamination in the Palwadar and Borobe regions of Kazakhstan. The, uh, in this project, the team is evaluating the atmospheric 
emissions and the cycle system, site assessment and its influence on the human health. In the category of construction material, construction management, we have a professor, Dr. Abid Namdeen. He is working on building information modeling and the purpose of this work is to provide the safety guidelines for the management of the building. Some of the professors like me who would like to think out of the box, we are working on uh, areas which we put it in the category of miscellaneous. I have a project in which I am focusing on the energy, economic and environmental evaluations of buildings that are integrated with novel material that is the phase change material. And uh, we are proposing uh, evaluating all of this in different climate zones of the world. Professor Jay Saigen, he is working on satellite enhanced slow melt and drought predictions for the Kabul River Basin with surface and groundwater modeling. This project is funded by USAID. That is all. Thank you very much. So, so Lunara, who is the next presenter? I think we can uh, invite a student, Aijan Sampo to tell a bit about her experience at SETS, about uh, her experience being president of the student chapter, how it is, what did you do? And about this context, I think it would be interesting to have a few words about it. Hello, Ajay, nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Hello, everyone. Thank you for this great opportunity to share my experience. May I share the screen? Yes, yes, you can. Oh, I guess, okay. Um, wait a minute. Can you see this uh, presentation? Yes, you can see the screen. Okay, okay. Hello again, everyone. Uh, my name is Ejan and uh, I am a third year civil engineering student. I want to share some information basically about the ACI student chapter um, and also some uh, little words about my own uh, experience as an engineer. So let's start. Uh, the ACI student chapter is the student branch of the non-profit international organization, American Concrete Institute. Uh, as Professor Sean mentioned, we are the only uh, student chapter which is located in Central Asia and even, um, yeah. So our student club is specialized in civil engineering and it is only club in Nazarbayev University. Our goal is to promote interest of ACI and civil engineering among students in Kazakhstan and especially in Nazarbayev University. We are organizing uh, field trips um, and guest lectures, some workshops, etc. We are also actively participating in international competitions, which is based on in ACI. <clears throat> and uh, we are creating network with an international organizations, gaining experience from international and local companies. What we are doing, here you can see a little um, photos and pictures of the events that we were doing before the pandemics and also while the pandemic were um, still with us. And more detailed, I will show you a little bit later. <clears throat> Let's talk about our collaborations. We are working on collaboration with the biggest company, building company in Kazakhstan, which is BI Group. And also we are in contact with our working alumni who were also participants of our student chapter club. We are organizing different guest lectures with professionals of the companies and field trips in order to learn some, uh, in order to learn something practical in construction site. We're also organizing some summer internships for our students. 
So before the pandemics, uh, we were organizing professor, professors advising lectures. It were offline. And when the pandemic started, we were doing these meetings online. Here you can see the photos uh, with the professor, uh, head of the department, Professor John Kim. Uh, professor Chen Chong is also here. Uh, professors from our department are supporting our uh, club by actively participating in our events, and we are really thankful for this. Once a semester, we are organizing this kind of advising lectures. So this semester, if somebody is interested, we are going to do it a little bit later. Here you can see more about the guest lectures, uh, not only with the professors, but those who are already working on the construction site, working engineers, senior or alumni students uh, who are sharing their experience, not only on construction working, but also in research. We are also um, active participants of club fairs and school of engineering open days as today. You can see more photos from the offline open days with uh, our club. And the workshops, Professor Chen Shan also mentioned the workshops and competitions internal that we are holding. Uh, the concrete mix design uh, competition and also this semester we are planning to do a popsicle bridge competition within Nazarbayev University so play, uh, please stay tuned if you are interested and follow our Instagram you can text us uh, via email to our corporate email we're also helping uh, future engineers with their past to uh, help with their research interests and also make a connection between professors and students. Our contacts, uh, our Instagram, email, you want, if you want, you can text me directly. This is my phone number. Yes, that's all about the ACI student chapter. Um, let's talk a little bit about my engineering experience. I was a research assistant in two projects. Uh, before the January, I was working with the professor Di Chuan and also another professor Li Wang uh, from the School of uh, Mining and Geosciences. We were doing, uh, we were using coal chunks and drilling it for further investigation. But basically, the project was about immersing um, liquid nitrogen in order to gain some methane and other organic gas. And now I am working with Professor Di Chuan Zhang on the research that Professor Shazim already mentioned uh, regarding the uh, use of uh, BIM and ECC. Also, I was an intern in, in BA this summer. I was working in uh, Almaty uh, BA Construction Management Group. So yeah, this is all. I want to share with you. If you are interested, you can contact me, contact our club, and please stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you, Enjoy. Thank you, dear professors. So we can move to the Q&A session. If there are any questions to our professors or to Aijan, you can ask. I can see in the chat the first question. So is GRE is requir uh, requirement is so GRE is not uh, is not compulsory for the civil and uh, environmental engineering programs, except um, MEM. But this program is required to pass the Alex test, and if you have a valid GRE or GMAT, you can pass this test uh, results except, uh, instead of Alex test. But GRE is com is uh, you can add this result if you have good ones to enhance your application package. Okay, any other questions? If you have the questions regarding the Master of Engineering Management program, you can ask them on the special, or you can ask it here, of course, but also we'll have a special presentation with the program director, Professor Dean Hello. Miris. Hello, madam. Yes, yes, please ask a question if you have one. Yeah, I'm from, uh, yeah, I'm from Pakistan. My question is uh, about the eyelids test. Uh, 
uh, actually my previous degree was from the university there was the english was the medium of instruction officially mm -hmm. uh, and i have applied for the civil engineering master so all it says mandatory or not uh you are talking about ielts yeah oh, yeah 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 uh if you had your studies in english language you do not have to pass the ielts ielts but you have to include uh, the document that uh, proves that you had uh, your studies in english language yes, so yes, usually yes, it's I have, transcript okay. or a letter special letter so you can upload this document yeah i have uh, i have uploaded the english proficiency certificate uh, uh clearly mentioned that uh, the previous degree was in english all the classes and seminars exam etc was in english so i uploaded it yeah it's enough you don't have to pass okay. the ielts test okay thank you thank you so much got it thank you good luck so what additional materials would you recommend for undergraduate applicants books documentary dear professors maybe you can help with it. Also, the, okay, in my presentation, I didn't show the, actually the, our, the, our School of uh, Engineering uh, School of Engineering Digital Science website. If you go to the, our website also, click the actually undergraduate program in civil and environment engineering, we also handbook is there. So that handbook showed more details about all all about your questions, underage applications, something like that. Yes, it showed up in the website. I will send here. So here is the link for undergraduate handbook. You can watch there and uh, read more about the courses, about the elective score courses. I think it would be useful if you are applying for this program. Okay, any other questions? You are welcome. Okay, if there are no questions, let me leave here our email. Maybe you will read some handbooks or maybe after scrolling the website or registering on the admissions website, you will have some questions. You can contact us with this email. And ask if you will have- I believe- Sorry to cut you. You can also share the requirements of the admission. I believe it's it must be available on the registrar portal. Yes, the requirements. I the can documents. show it on our website. I think it's. Let me share the screen. So, in a second, it's open. Pages. So. If you go to the website of Mr. Bayef University, you will find the admissions uh, portal, the admissions uh, part of, of the website, for example, and it's divided, it has, has special sections for undergraduate, master's and doctorate. For undergraduate, you would find here the description of the programs, all the links, and uh, how to apply, requirements, again, the dates, I think it's uh, everything is on, on, on the one page, so you should choose here, School of Engineering and Digital Sciences. You will find the requirements that we have. Also, you will find the dates and uh, the documents that you need to upload to your uh, personal account. So I can send the links to our chat box. Please use this website. Find information. So this one is for masters. Okay, so we have a question to Aishan. What exam results did you have at the time of your application? 
S A T I S. Um, okay. Uh, thank you for your question. When I was applying in 2019, yeah, uh, I took only IELTS exam because I was taking uh, SAT also, but applied by um, exams that after the NIS school graduating Cambridge exams. So I had the A star, A star B, um, but the the requirements are A, B, B, as I can remember for uh, Cambridge exams. And my IELTS was 7.5 at that time. And I also took an SAT reasoning test, which is um, 1400, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this was my uh, exam results. I applied with. So for IELTS, the only um, requirement is to meet 6.5, if I'm not mistaken. And this is not critical for engineering department. Yeah, that's all. Yes, this requirement is uh, the 6.5 and the not less than six in each section. In each section. So uh, it's important to meet these requirements. Also, I can advise you to visit our page. Also, we have a special presentation about the statistics. Maybe it would help you. It shows the results of our, the average results of those who uh, were admitted to the programs year by year. Okay, I want to know of all PhD programs of fully funded scholarships after admission. Uh, so uh, we have the scholarships and 98% of our students are having stipend uh, and has the scholarship. Also, we have some discounts for international candidates also, and scholarships are available for international candidates also. So please apply. There is no special admission process for scholarship or for the paid uh, uh, admissions or something like this. It's uh, only one way to get admitted to the programs. Okay, any other questions? If there are no questions, uh, let me thank the professors for your time today, for your really interesting presentations. Thank you, Ajan, for coming, for joining us. Dear participants, I hope to see you among our students. Please uh, ask your questions by email or you can contact us uh, by phone that we have on the website also. So see you on the next presentations. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye.